Yes, uh, she indicated that she's unwell. Uh, absolutely. So just indulge. Thank you. Senator Kavindo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Senator Faki, for giving me the opportunity to speak before you. Uh, thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to, to speak on this motion of the state of the nation today. I want to congratulate every senator who was here yesterday because because of uh, the lack of quorum yesterday, we sat and we came up with this and I want to thank each one of them for coming up with this because it is a crucial moment, it is a very timely moment for us to be in the House today to debate this motion. Mr. Speaker, I want to start by sending my condolences to the families of those who, who died, uh, the Gen Cs who died through the brutality of the police. Mr. Speaker, our Constitution, Article 37, talks of uh, every person has a right to peacefully and unharmed and unharmed assemble and demonstrate to picket and to present petitions to the Repub uh, to public. Uh, authorities. Mr. Speaker, I'm so saddened by the eight, six or eight uh, Gen Cs who were killed when they were coming to Parliament to bring their petitions. And yet, they were, they were, they were, they were doing their, their rightful demonstrations. Mr. Speaker, the police through their leader, the IG, have no right to shoot with live bullets. They would have used blank bullets and tear gas to dispatch the, uh, our, our, our young people. Mr. Speaker is a mother. I was in this Senate that day, and every time I, I had a bullet shot, my, my stomach was like leaving my body as a mother, because I knew that's a bullet which has hit a child. Mr. Speaker, I didn't know what to do. But they would have been allowed just to come. We've, we've had many people in, in, the, in the gallery, the speaker's gallery and the public gallery, to listen, and even we've had many people bring their petitions here, and we have dealt with them. I want to condole with the, with the families and tell the Gen Cs of Kenya, first of all, I want to congratulate them because we are here today discussing this motion because they came out. Why? Because they are fed up with the state of the nation and how they are living as our young people. And surely, Mr. Speaker, I saw one of them admitted in, in, in Kenyatta National Hospital. And he was saying that he was shot on the back, but thank God he was shot together with Eric, uh, Charlo Muticia. Char Charlo Muticia uh, lost his life, but this one survived and he was in a hospital. And he was saying that he is demonstrating because he has been looking for a job for the last 10 years since he graduated. And many of them have even more than 10 years. Mr. Speaker, they have all rights to demonstrate and to, to ask the government to provide them with jobs. There are ways, Mr. Speaker, of providing these young people with jobs because 30% of all jobs in the counties, the 47 counties, belong to the youth, women, and people living with disability. If these jobs, together with the national government, are given to them rightfully without partiality. Mr. Speaker, these children will have jobs, even as others do the, the jobs that they do for, through the internet. Mr. Speaker, it has become so difficult for our young people even to get police jobs and army jobs. I've heard many of them saying that they've been asked for, to, to give uh, bribes 
to 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 to, to, to amounts of like 300,000. I've had cases where parents have approached me telling me that they've sold piece of land to bribe for their jobs, to, uh, for their children to get jobs, and they've not been able to be employed. Mr. Speaker, I want to call upon the president of the country of Kenya. Because I know he listens, and I know he has humor. To see what he can do to these young people and provide jobs for them. I looked at him the other day as he was being interviewed and I saw a king without a covering. A naked king. Why? Because he was there, he was being asked questions about people he gave jobs who are not doing their jobs the way they should be doing their jobs and they were nowhere to be seen. Mr. Speaker. It's a shame. It's a shame. I want to call upon the CSS to take their mandate and do their, their jobs the way they should do their jobs and cover the president because they are there. Not covering him as in not failing, for failing to do their jobs, but they should do their jobs the way they are mandated to do their jobs. If they do their jobs properly, Mr. Speaker, without corruption, nobody will go to the streets to demonstrate. Mr. Speaker, I want to stand and say, all of us as a country and as a nation, as leaders, we have failed. Because many other times, even here in the Senate, we take sides on partisan. And we do what our parties are guiding us to do. And we forget that we have been sent here by Kenyans who elected us to come and represent them. And many other times we pass even laws that are against them. Mr. Speaker, as we reflect from the president to the least of the, in this country, we must now think and see how we will work to bring sanity to our country, to bring sanity to parliament, to bring sanity to every organization in this country. And Mr. Speaker, many of, uh, of these issues are happening because people are given directions on how to vote. And even when a law is hurting, because of the directions, they still go ahead and vote. And a good example is this uh, bill, 2024 financial bill. The parliament voted yes, and it passed. What happened next? The president failed to sign. Why? Because people were not happy with it. It's a shame, even to the parliament. We should stand and do what is, what is right for the people who send us. I am calling upon the AG and the, the I, I poor to do what is right and bring justice. Mr. Speaker, many are the times, like many of the senators have, 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 who have gone ahead of me have said, cases of corruption. They are there, they are very clear, but they just disappear somewhere. Cases are taken to courts. Justice is never done. Very few people get justice in Kenya, especially the poor. And they stay at home knowing that I can go to court and this is rightfully mine, especially land issues. They know this is my land, but somebody somewhere has grabbed the land or the land has been sold to them because they have money. This poor person cannot even dare go to court. Why? Because they know even if they go to court, this person will go and bribe the court and they'll never get justice. I'm dealing with so many cases of land in Machakos and I know what I'm talking about. It is a high time. Every institution reflects 
and we come back to Namase and we do what is right for our people if we don't want Kenya to go into the ruins. Mr. Speaker, we are talking here, but I pray and I request that all the discussions that we are discussing here today and the debate is going to go into this motion and is going to be implemented. Mr. Speaker, the young people have said it all through media, social media, but I want to call upon the young people, the Gen Cs. You are free to bring your petitions to this Senate and we will discuss them and we will implement them. Even if there is nowhere else you can, you can be heard, at the Senate you will be heard. Sit down or communicate in the way that you are communicating and send your petitions to the Senate. We will deal with it. And even before then, we will continue uh, uh, talking and saying what you are saying. Mr. Speaker, these children are crying for jobs. They are crying for, to see uh, everything being done in the proper manner. And Mr. Speaker, I want to speak to all of us through a scripture in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 18. It says, uh, come, we reason together. It is a time for Kenyans to come together and reason together. Mr. President, reason together with your people. We want... We are here to work for the goodness of this country. We do not want bloodshed. And we are demanding for those who have been arrested through demonstrations, demonstrating without violence, to be released with immediate effect. And those who have died, they should be assisted in burial. Because some of them come from very poor families, like Rex comes from a single mother. He has no father. He has nobody else. He has nowhere. He lives with his grandmother. And his, the mother is suffering, trying to see how she can bury her son. So I'm calling up, upon the president and all the organization and even this Senate to intervene and contribute so that some of these people can be buried honorary, like some of the senators have said, especially those who were killed here at Parliament. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that we've nullified the shift in, the, in the delegated legislation and we want to see all the statutes and, and the laws that are going to be made in this country to be favorable to the people of Kenya. And if we do that, Mr. Speaker, it will be well and our people will settle and they will be happy and they will live, we will live in a peaceful country. Kenya is a country where every other country runs here as refugees and they stay here peacefully. And they are wondering when they are seeing Kenya uh, running the way it is running. I am calling upon each one of us to reflect and even as we reflect, let us do the right thing for our people. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I support. Senator Miraj.